we need to build Russia going to be starting their uh, briefing here very soon. Uh, yep, here we go. Why is it punching me back? All right, welcome I... to Operation Jesus Christ. It's new to be catching me backwards. Look, look, look. It's very easy. Operation go over Jesus there and climb up on the small building Operation and we'll all run over here. All right, all right. All right. Um, welcome to Operation gotcha, Crazy Horse. So, here's the deal. The Americans have set up some kind of forward operating base type thing somewhere north of the river, uh, but east of the, uh, basically the Juliet Kilo line. That's right, isn't it? No, it's west of the Juliet Kilo line. Yeah. I had that back. All right, uh, now, we least have you, to least go you remember. and get rid of them. And, yeah, that's going to be pretty easy. What we're going to do is off live, we're going to mount up in all of the uh, the nice transport trucks, the BTR-80s we have. And we're going to drive on down here to these compounds. We're going to dismount, and then we're going to have uh, squad uh, three under Kuba and squad four under Athel are going to go patrol up the road and take over these heights that overlook the bridge, uh, while squad one under Mighty and two under Xbit cross the river. Uh, and then kind of secure the first set of compounds, like the little berm down there. We're going to have uh, Mighty on the north and Expit on the south. Uh, then from there, we're just going to kind of proceed in a platoon line with Mighty scraping the map border, basically, but not really, because that'd be, you'd have to climb up high. Uh, and Expit kind of moving on the southern side, closer to the river, uh, until we hit the big mountain in F4. Uh, and we're going to have, in the middle, we're going to have... Uh, once again, in numerical order, we're going to have Kuba kind of on the northern side with his BTR crawling up the mountain. Then on the southern side, kind of following the road, but with the infantry right nearby, we're going to have a So basically, it's going to be one, two, uh, well, basically one, three, four, and then two, which doesn't look too pretty numerically, but it's the best we can do. It's close to the number order. Uh, yeah, 57 seconds to live, so go ahead and get to your vehicles. Squad leaders who have infantry squads just each grab a transport truck. BTR squads get in your BTRs. Correct. Yeah, following through. And we are live for round one of Operation Crazy Horse. Russia will be in blue, U.S. will be in red. We will be listening to Russia command comms throughout the operation tonight. We'll turn name tags off for right now for the maximum, uh, for the maximum beauty settings. If there are any for this game. Which there are. I guarantee you they are. But, you know. Russia moving out. Transports in front. Uh, party in the front, business in the back. As the BTRs take up the rear of the Russian column. Oof. We're going to follow these guys for a little bit. Russians using the road because, uh, wouldn't you always use the road in squad because it's faster than not using the road? The answer is yes. Uh, but it's always faster in squad. Because game design. Because I think they hit a tree. So, um... Ooh. My, uh, my CPU just hit a spike in... Oh my. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Um, let's see if anyone else is having this issue. Maybe not. Um, we're gonna get back into the game. <laughs> This is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's a good thing I didn't tweet about this because, wow, that would be embarrassing.
so we are reconnecting. You aren't missing anything, guys, I promise. We aren't missing anything right now. Okay, we're back. We are on Russia. Oh, let's take a look at... While we're here... Let's take a look at the I positions. Returning to US Maine. Copy. Uh, well, if you saw it, then uh, I'd like to know about it. Okay, they're moving the road to our east, heading to US Maine in the east. So right. they're running from the Delta or Charlie towards the US Maine to the east? US basically. making a so sizable... Now, I said earlier that U.S. were going to have problems with these hills because they're right up on the compound, so U.S. intending to not actually sit on the compound makes a lot of sense. They're going to throw all the uh, fortification up on the hill. Expect shenanigans. Expect crazy fobs. It's actually going to look brilliant. Now, you guys uh, have to play some forward forces here. South of US Maine around there. That's as much as, as I can give you from this distance. Oh, copy. Alright. So we still have a ways to go before we hit contact. Um, based on that. Now, they say it's a ways to go Ready before they hit contact, but there are forward forces right. here. And you know what? Part of why we take this uh, route uh, so that way we'd have good eyes to there we go. all those valleys and be able to see if they picked anywhere. We fixed it. High up. There's an AR and a rifleman up front, and it looks like there's an there's an MMG with an arrow assistant right there. And this is entirety of uh, Squad One seems to be centered around this hill. It's a pretty common hill. There's a la a Scottish rather Scottish chap with grunt assistant gunner, and they have one of the MMGs as well. Don't get shot on the MMG. Squad 4 up here, centered around Hotel 5. Evan's squad as uh, Sebi MMG with uh, Assistant Gunner Jack 800. A few other folks. And this seems to be the main route that the logistics are taking. Silas running one of the trucks. He's got a bacon Batman for a little bit of a secure dot. Oh, and Scroop is by himself in a Mat V. Cool. Meanwhile, south of the FOB proper, there's a fire team led by Blackbeard. And he's got Nova Garrett and the Bartok Warrior hanging out on a hill, doing things. And these guys are all part of two, which is under Ronan. Who's sitting on the radio radio tower right here? He's got a pretty light squad, all things considered. He has a medic with uh, Mankeys, AR gunner, with Jannings and Fight Milk. Fight Milk running that fire team. On the point, we have. Um... Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm looking at the compound just south of US Maine, and not so Dwarf so Commanding so Sloth is shadowing Dwarf. This is something you may not have, you may have noticed in previous operations, but this is part of our commander training course. Commanders that are interested in command, or people, that, players that are interested in commanding, go through this part of the course where they shadow, and they're basically the right hand man, for uh, for the commander in this case, Dorf. Uh, let's take a look at the Russians. The Russians are just now crossing the river over in Charlie 5. One fire team across. Everyone else is staging in this most northern village. Brilliant event admin, nuclear twister, coming over to survey to make sure everything is cool. Doing his thing. Becoming the master of the operation. 
stairs to abuse the bridge. Vehicles must be using the bridge. Pony reminding his guys that while infantry are given free reign to cross the river, the vehicles must use the roads, or at least use the road, the bridges to cross the river. So, the plan is becoming real. And now it becomes a waiting game. Of course, at range, we could start, we can probably be uh, expecting to see the goon here with Modern Death as his fire team lead. I think he was out if you guys are scared. We could probably see these guys start to open up pretty soon. Um, also, Sebi and, um, who's this? Storm on the AR up here. You can expect them to be opening fire once these guys probably get towards Echo. You heard Pony mention the Fox 4 mountain. That is a real obstacle that Russia are going to have to go around. And you heard him say he's going to have two squads go north, two squads go south through the, uh, the valley right here. You can definitely expect contact to become a thing right around here. The southern squad will probably be in contact probably as soon as Echo 5-6. The northern squad, once they peek themselves around of Fox 4, that'll be happening for these guys for sure. Uh, meanwhile, you can see the Ruskies. So you can either cross the field, yeah, go along the river, I don't care, but Echo 6-8 is the destination for us. It's around Gulf 7. Oh, well, let's roll. Follow me so. Expit giving Revy some marching orders there. Echo 6-7. Echo 6-8. I don't know, he just said it and I forgot it. You know, my bad. Yeah, uh, 3-8, I'd have that fire team a little bit more south. You're supposed to be south of one. BTR, number one, has made it across the river. Jenga in the gunner's seat with Nuke Dukum driving. And there is another BTR around here somewhere. There it is. Cuba gunning with Sergeant Jackson in the driver's seat. Wow, look at these guys. Sunny... Terrapin, Salty Potato, and that's Seer Chess. This fire team is basically on the map border. Living life. Living the high life. Literally. What's and right. that is Mighty spotting yeah, the Goon and Modern Death. Uh, they're probably going to try and flank us eventually. One of the things that the mod has given us, or has, but a matter of fact, taken away from everyone, yeah, sure. so, you know, is that to leadership are the only ones that are going to be have sure. glass. Which is to say, leadership are the only ones with binoculars. So that's fire team leads. In squad leads, those are the only ones that have binoculars. Not everyone else does. And while the goon has a, uh... Look at it, he's got an M249 yeah, there. That, he's got a red dot on it. Well, he's even got a laser. Yeah, he's got a laser designator on there. Modern Death is FTL. Even with his red dot M M4 there, he's also got Binox. A little shift in the plan seems to be that Squad 2 is going to run right along the river a lot. The river, uh, here. Which is cool. I like this. Yeah, all right, both One thing I'm not entirely sure about is the speed that everyone else is approaching at. Hotel seven. And that's to say that maybe two is going to be arriving faster than everyone else is. And given uh, US one position here, that could be bad for two. Especially this fire team 
that's closer to the river. Now, they may peel back up to uh, solid land here for sure, but... Hey, uh, Bravo team has eyes on contact at Fox 6-2. Big question mark for sure. Lots of contact reports from distance here. Fox 6-2, yep, there you go. Get the rest of the platoon uh, continuing to roll forward. It's quite a that's quite yeah, a name for this type of hill. Hit F4 and be able to put fire directly on him. Now there are some other folks over here that are living life on top of this hill. Scottish chap. Yeah, my guys have eyes on uh, troops Fox Seven Six Five. They have. Eyes oh, hey, there's the MRAP. It's definitely off the uh, logistics route, so they must be setting up for a little bit of overwatch, the rear security for their uh, compound. If the BTR has visual, then it's for you to engage, but keep the infantry rolling for now. And hearing word that the BTR is free to fire. And this is Jenga Nuke Dukem. They're the forward BTR, so I think the BTR is gonna come on over here hey, BTR, and the goon is actually running away. I imagine he just saw the uh, BTR and he's probably scared for his life, and he should be because this BTR is gonna have some zoom. Yeah, expect, uh, expect Jenga to take some shots at this hill very, very momentarily. As soon as they find, he finds the position for his BTR. Meanwhile, Russian infantry moving ahead. Yeah, we wouldn't want to be killed by the BTR. Sorry, it was a bad call out. Too many memes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm wrapped up. Yeah, feel free to engage that rip. Try and get that. Are they engaging the M rip? They're engaging the M rip, and they're hitting it. There's no gunner in that seat right now. Oh, rounds coming in. Against infantry, you can do something. Against dead. Wow. Russia's squad lead is dead. Russia squad lead is dead. Sebi. He's dead, guys! Oh, someone else is over there dead. Uh, looks like Sebi got destroyed. Uh, Jack is still living on the top of this hill. More coax from the BTR. Wow! That is amazing. We have contact already, and there are two Russian kills for one U.S. kill. Uh, one and five. We to go ahead and take that hill and box four, one. So I'm guessing the goon died on this hill over here. Okay, so that's the second kill for Russia. Wow! Wow! Guys, there's... For, for reference, the BTR that engaged those guys is here. He was getting shots on the MRAP. Here. So let's let's just do some math here. Three, six, nine. That's about 1,200 meters. He was getting shots in the MRAP. Sebi was deployed here on Golf Five. Nope. 
Here he is. He was next to Jack. Jack's running back. So, that's a 900 meter shot too. That is insane. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. The BTR, or the MMG, has zero optics. The, MG, the MMG has zero optics. Jack talked him onto target. At 900 meters, and the first few rounds landed and killed a squad lead for Russia. We got some serious, we got some serious operators existing in this operation tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying what has so far been nuts. Command, not that it matters, but there's contact far in Hotel we, 97. We've got a contact report Copy. of F464, so east of Squad 1 right now. We had one times report. F464. Evan, the squad lead here for US, surveying what's in front of him. Russia are making some progress now. They've covered about 300 meters in the last few uh, minutes here. And like I said, this Fox 4 mountain right here is causing some problems. One squad just heading right on top of that mountain with the BTR. And another squad is sweeping the northern map border. While XBIT squad is continuing to proceed along the river. Oh, roll over the lip. Roll over the lip. And maybe this uh, BTR is going to have some. You're not over. You need to get over the lip. BTR. BTR should be in front of. Oh yeah, right here. Oh yeah, Koopa can see things now. So I think they're going to take some shots at Evan here. Storm's dead. UJ Key finds some cover, so we're, and we're Evan's right next to him. Here, east. We one, and one Ooh, off this squad side. is actually in a potentially oh, bad position. Good. Evan's running away, but he's got an MMG and coax. UJ Key. Let's keep spreading, guys. They're stuck, guys. Evan and UJ Key are stuck here. Yeah, There's I'll no way you're for you're them to proceed. Right. They have to wait for the BTRs to, uh, the whole EJ key through smoke. They're gonna have to wait for the BTRs to, uh, reposition. And hope that the medium machine gun doesn't pick them off at 600 meters. Oh, a rocket. That hits UJ key. Evan still seems okay. The BTR finds its footing on the top of it. Look at this insanity right here. Elite's gonna grab himself another rocket from the BTR stores. UJ Key is a uh, UJ Key is a medic because he healed himself up. UJ K running into the smoke. UJ Key might look like he's gonna get away with it. Some other MMGs are taking shots at Evan. UJ Key makes it to, su to some cover, to some, uh, not some cover, but a little bush. Another rocket. A little short of UJ Key. UJ Key, enough uphill, uh, ele uphill enough, enough elevation away from that rocket to not take any, uh, frag. And look at this. Panic smokes from U.S. Panic smokes. Everyone throwing all the col Evans throwing all of his smokes that he can. Evans running. He's running through some smokes. UJ Key next to Evan, and they find themselves some defilade. Another rocket comes through. Short again. And we're getting an update from Russia Command. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, 
U.S. repositioning themselves for a Western front here. Evan got hit there. That's some ballsy movement from uh, Evan and UJ Key. Really good job for them to actually get out of that. And Evan... The coax not elevated enough. Evan gets out of there. Where did UJ Key go? Another rocket. Would have been cool if anyone was there, but no one was there. So Evan falls back. What a... What an exchange that happened there. An MMG takes out a squad lead from range. Russia standing at three kills now. U.S. at one. Russians moving in. Very slowly here. Expedit is getting ready to get... He's getting some new orders in. Looks like fours could be doing the same. Bump is now running four. He's the uh, first FTL. We're getting we chain of command from here, Pony, so which is standard because you don't want to be proceeding into some okay. action with ambiguity in the chain of command. Let's take a look at some U.S. positions. Fire team plus size force at Radio Tower, uh, I'll take a look at along with a Mat V that's not manned right now. Expect that to change very soon. The other fire team for this squad is here, a bit further south. I imagine they're going to be moving out very shortly. And Pony knows exactly where the endpoint is already. More rockets being fired in the north. Oh, don't get shot. Got spotted moving. Yeah, I'm seeing some guys. F79 sitting on that ridge line. F79 and Pony also sees most of Squad One here for US. Let's take a look at this position. Um, K9 in charge of this element. Go ahead. I'm not so sure that they're on. Your your guys are like right near Nipple Hill, yeah. Ooh, Shookhart putting some rounds out towards a rather Scottish chap, and he's a lat, so he's got to stay alive. Oh, someone's ammo bag is on top of the... That's not good. K9 returning fire here on Shookhart. Shookhart takes cover behind the hill. Woo! about 300 meters away, but sh but Expit has a fire team pushing very close now in the defilade from this position. And we're looking at Expit's sec second fire team. They're going to be on an elevated position. They're going to clear this entire hill. And I don't think anyone's looking. Modern Death might be able to spot this. He might, he might have just spotted Expit there. No, maybe not. Rather Scottish chap has AT4 out. He's got a... I think he wants to take a shot. He wants to take a shot on the BTR. And he switches back to a rifle. Maybe a little bit far of a shot for him to reliably get. Or maybe he doesn't want a, uh, a front shot here. Expit opening up from the hill. You Russia now creating some... Uh, some crossfire here on this hilltop position. K9's got to get out of this. And it's not going to be pretty. With a BTR in support to his northwest, and an AR now in position, basically hammering this position. Rather, Scottish Champ actually got hit. He's down low. He might bleed out. He bleeds out before the animation finishes! And there's a lat down for US. That is not good.
a great pickoff there for Xbit's uh, Xbit's venture on top of this hill. Let me see if I can find these guys again. Where did they go? Why am I so bad at this right all of a sudden? I'm looking at the wrong place. Oh yeah, I see the Lodgy track now. It's, it's Are they of, here? Like no, I'm just I'm just blind all of a sudden. There they are. See, I'm just bad. Maybe Money Man on the gun for that. Looks like he's deployed with a bipod. Yeah, Money Man deployed with an AR. Taking shots at uh, Modern here. Oh, look at that. Somebody just died. Maybe saying Obama just died. Uh, Taking some shots. Friendly fired from Shug. Oh no. Copy. Please tell Shug deck is fire. Uh, yeah, we're talking about this time. They're having, they got no markers. Oh no. Oh shit, hey, multiple contacts. In a long time. Yeah, multiple guys. Really good bird. It was a nice. Okay, Shug. I know you're, you're probably feeling good about hitting that shot, but... At least. They pull me up just a little bit. We're not going to say anything more about that. You can see Shug's position here. Basically shuts down K9 if he try K9 squad if he... Don't get shot, gets up on the hill. But Shug is not looking. He's trying to take shots of Patrick Star as he's running, but don't get shot. Should be taking a ch chance here to shoot back. He is. Brown's coming in. And a so tracer like flies over Sugar's head, and he gets oh, out of there. One, two, five. Copy. Oh, look at this! Patrick Star FTL got a binox out. He's looking. Tracer's coming in pretty much on Sugar. Sugar not hit. That's actually amazing. I swear one of those tracers actually hit him. Rush on the move of the north. Oh, look at this. Silas and Jack. They're hunting. Silas and Jack are hunting, uh, yeah, they're hunting the BTRs. Now, this is the Fox 4 Mountain, I believe. Yeah, this is the Fox 4, no, this is not the Fox 4 Mountain. Nope, this is the Fox 4 Mountain. I'm an idiot. Silas and Jack gotta go up and around. Once we turn south here in H5. With Jack as an assistant gunner, Silas is going to have plenty of ammo here to make some ridiculous rear-end shots. I swear that guy died on my screen. I mean, the tracer looked like it just hit him, but, you know, sometimes it done... Sometimes the perspective... See, when you're spectating a game like this that takes place over, you know, even if it's simulated like this, like, from here to that next hill, that yeah, may be, like, Russians, um, 800 meters, sorry, sorry, and you don't know. The compounds down on the far south as well. It just and is. And a G7 so you know, stuff you gonna to happen at ranges. You can quote me on that. In the valley, right? On reverse slopes, up, probably. Yeah, in the valley, uh, probably reverse slope. Also just those buildings like G7. Rounds going out like on U.S. forces. Patrick Star and don't get shot in retreat. Patrick Star has been hit. But it oh, looks yeah, like he's relatively there. safe. K9 has fallen kill. back uh, to this G compound. G7, six, he's got Vladdy Patin in tow. But not everyone from his team has fallen back. BVD Runner is still on his right. way back. Grunt is now falling back off the hill, and here comes Modern Death. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the uh, U.S. position here. 
Oh look, Alaji's dead. Rip. A Matt V is stuck on the hill. Oh, that gunner's dead, or he got out of it. Regardless, Crash X is going to have to get in that Matt V and drive it. Although it doesn't appear like it's taking damage, I could be wrong. BTR shooting at the uh, Matt V again. Looks like it's actually taking some damage. It's smoking. It's pop. Bing. One down. Copy. One Matt V down. The other Matt V is still sitting on. Uh... Yeah, the other Matt V is still sitting next to Ammo Hill or uh, Radio Tower. Ammo Hill. Wow, I'm really losing my mind right now. Let's get a reset of forces here. Uh oh. Did Silas just shoot something? I think Silas is taking shots at Kuba and Sergeant Jackson's. Yep. Silas is taking shots at Kuba and Sergeant Jackson's BTR. So far, appear to be no sh no hits. Oh, Silas is dead, and I don't think he got a shot, so... Oof. Jack 0800 actually taking shots at Pony here from this ridge. And Pony doesn't know where he's being shot from. He thinks it's behind. He heard a report that it was north. Jack is gonna... Oh, if Jack takes out command, this would be bad. Pony's gotta get himself safe. He's just laying in the middle of a road. He's taking shots at Elite now because Elite is just standing up. He hits Elite! I think Pony is now oriented to contact. He's looking for it. And I think Pony just saw it. Jack hits Pony. Pony's bleeding. And I think Pony wants to... Uh, he's got in cover now, so hopefully he can bandage himself. Meanwhile... One, can you go get rid of these bricks? Gara and... Elite and Snowfall hanging out. Jack is now taking fire from uh, Fulcrum. He got hit. Fulcrum and Kilo 9 looks like they started taking fire from the south. Jack is going to stabilize here. And Jack is oriented towards Fulcrum. He wants to get a little bit of a better position. He's gonna grab his ammo bag. And some folks trying to come up here to get this guy. Two, four, keep the good work. Total War running at him. And looks like maybe Mighty, Uncle Niner. I heard 3 was going to send a fire team up to deal with this as well, so this is a lot of diversion here. Meanwhile, Xbit, slow but sure, making progress up the river. Let's get some guys closer to the town. Jack taking shots. And here comes some shots in. Jack gets hit again. He's going to use a second bandage here. And Jack's isolated now. U.S. forces still holding a position. We're a little bit far away to actually get updates on the enemy position right now, but Evan has pushed his remainder of his squad back to the hill in Hotel Six. You know that's actually not a bad idea. Will U.S. do it? 
take pot shots over at us, or well, the fob near it is. Makes sense. Why wouldn't you? Okay, Cooper, we're holding for your fire team. Uh, ponies repositioned a little bit. Copy, yeah, they're pushing. Them. Here we go. Sonny's about ready to crest this hill. I just want to confirm that the ridge we're walking into is there. You've got the ice on him. Jack is taking shots at someone. Who is he shooting from here? I think he's shooting at Snowfall Elite. And, uh, Gara. Three, it seems like you guys have contact. Sunny coming up behind. I don't think Jack knows that Salty Potato and Seared. And Pony has eyes on. Terrapin's running straight at him. What a mad lad. Oh, with Jack reloading. There we go, he's dead. Total war kill kills him. Oh no! Sonny took Go shots at. Got it. That was almost a TK. Hello? Copy. Golf 8 8. Yeah, if you lay that to my guys. Another TK. Are we good? Total, did you get one? Total. We have contact. H5 Total war. Two directs out the BTR close. A little bit out of local range here. here. No, thank you. Yes. Hey, Jamal, just burn rubber over here. I can. I can just. Do you, Total war, look at me. Yeah. Do you have mic problems? Yes, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Did you get them? them. Did you get them? Yes, how many? One, not once for one, two for two. Okay, two? Two or one? Two, two. One. Two. Not two. for one? Not for two. He's saying one. Okay, so he's one. One? Okay. No, one, one. Alright, that's... Yeah, the job went off. And now we shall witness right, as commander is sitting on Radio Tower Ridge, just north of it. Cool. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna move on. We're gonna fly down here and get uh, we're gonna get eyes on U.S. positions now. All right, so one, see if you can head through uh, H5 along th that pass that I wanted you to attack. And three, see if you can pull more of your guys west. Then, uh, oh hey Scooby, maybe not post a link. Oh, there's a rocket that got fired. Ooh. Rocket misses Sloth. Sloth's got some defilade here, but Rocket misses Sloth. Another rocket shot. Oh wait, Sloth is... Sloth is not alive. Uh, 10 kills for Russia, 2 kills for US. Oof. Two, what do you think the possibility is if those guys kind of start to push through? Okay. Uh, maybe the oh, here we go. K9 has eyes on Xbit. Oh, and the BTR is on the hill that he was also occupying. Xbit sending a fire team this way. Maybe these guys haven't been spotted. Seems a little insane to think that they have been spotted, but US are expecting them. Wish you knew about the. Just don't. Yeah, don't push links because link bad. Copy. My Bravo element's still positioning, so. Pull Bravo west. I don't know why they're. Or wait, never mind. That's one. Yeah, yeah. They're. I ordered them west everything. Well, the link thing is because. Oh, look at this! Money Man, it's so far of a range that all you can hear is the bullets landing around. Don't get shot. BVD Runner attempting to return fire here. He's pinned behind some sandbags. Uh, BVD Runner trying to return fire, but he doesn't really have a good solid grasp on... Uh,
Oh man, at least BVD got out of there. Didn't he? Don't get shot died. Oops. K9 continuously losing members of his squad here, but the position is kind of important. I mean, I mean, it is important and it's not. The problem is, is that this position is actually like the last one because the only other way that he's going to get out of this position is running in open terrain. He's dead if he moves. So... Expit is going to have to push a fire team in here, and that's what's happening. But Modern Death and Grunt. Ooh, these guys have a nice position here, and they haven't been spotted. I wonder if uh, Grunt's hunting the. Uh... Actually, they're not Lats, because their Lats dead. So. These guys are just simply here looking for people to come up the road, which they're not going to do. More rockets being fired towards Dude, radio tower. Yeah, we're gonna try to nade out these uh, contacts in front. Sounds good. Fifty eight of you guys watching on Twitch right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Xbit's fire team getting really close to contact here. K9 only has BVD Runner, Patrick Star, and Vladdy Patini in his compound. Vlad's got himself a neat line they over here on the uh, north side of the compound. So we don't have I'm watching the uh, doorway. I don't have any frogs. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> yeah, don't crawl. Don't crawl. They'll hear you crawl. Yep. Only crouch. Crouch walk. Yeah, three. Make sure you keep your BTR in a place where it can keep those contacts on the east of Radio Tower. I'm watching. The point. Oh, I guarantee, I guarantee you, K9 hears this. Uh, northern corner. Yep. Yeah, we. we I think I heard. I think I saw K9 put his hand up to his ear. K9's got to be telling guys, they're coming. Yep. There's K9 talking to command. Let's breach him. Let's breach him. Patrick Starr taking some shots at Xbit's top element, and here comes... Revy puts a bullet into the K9, but dies. Your Nightmare dies coming around the corner. K9 is freaking out. He switched to a pistol, I think. Because he whiffed an entire mag to kill one man. K9 stabilizes. I'm gonna let them come out. Vladdy Poutine has actually been hit. Do the- will Gerwolf and Cyberclone get here in time? They're taking the back door. This compound has like three or four entrances. The- this entrance right here in the northeast- the northwest. Is a little nuts. Looking, uh, 165. So, Xbit's fire team here pretty much shredded. Alright, this room is clear. There are some shots going on because Russia is closing in on the compound. There's two squads off point. Vladimir Putin runs in and dies. Oof. And Patrick is simply holding the corner here. K9 also just holding this back corner. Yeah, Hammer and Hebrew, Cyberclone and Gerwolf for the remaining Russian forces trying to get in here. BVD Runner is still up as well. And he's holding a uh, rear position here. Holding a back door. I believe this is... Well, it's not open to the outside of the compound, but it's still, uh, you know, a thing to hold. Alright, what is Cyborg and Gorwolf going to do? They're just holding position. Can you hold that doorway? I'm going to push a little farther east so just to see if there's another angle. 
Do you want me to gonna, move to you guys? We're gonna let the B drives handle mop up, basically. Uh, if you have a good position, then go ahead and stay. But if not, yeah, then yeah. There's no way to get to the point without pushing through the middle of the yeah, open. I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking to make sure no one comes out the uh, right side of this one. Cool. I got one in the northeast or just east side. Sounds like somebody's proned out next to me. Yeah, he's literally Look. proned out next to me. It's probably the same guy I had. Gorov's gonna he's run running. around here. He's in that building next to you. Yep, BVD runner got up in the I mean, second can, floor here. If I get another good sound on this, you shoot through the fucking wall. And hammered Hebrew. Just living on the outside of this compound, just making sure no one's gonna come around the back side. Uh, large explosion? That was our BTR smoking extraction. Copy, okay. I was gonna say. Did Russia lose a BTR? Why? Oh, guess what's still a thing? This Matt V. Wait. No, it's not a thing anymore. Oof. So, it's literally down to US mines and US lats. Patrick Starr takes Cyborg clone out through a window. Patrick Starr's gonna run in. The wolf's gonna spray and not get anything. Loading. So Patrick Starr trying to bait out Gerwolf here. I'm moving to you. I'm making so much noise though, they probably hear me. <laughs> I have no idea if I got that guy or not. Xbit is uh, moving a fire, moving the remainder of his fire team up. Grenades. Oh, Grunt and uh, Modern Death must have come over here from the side. Oh, they're both dead regardless, so I guess that didn't work out for him. Do you want us pushing in the compound as well? We can start moving now. Or send my guys. Yep, one. Yeah, yeah. Push okay. in the compound. Uh, man, that's what I need. I need like, I need like a stream deck that has buttons so I could just play macros that just have royalty-free-ish versions of everything. I need to find like a MIDI version of the Pink Panther theme. I need to find MIDI versions of a lot of popular songs just so I can get around not using the actual version of these popular songs. But that's another thing that I'm not actually interested in taking up time explaining here. That was where he was last at. BTR engaging Blackbeard. Oh, so they got a shot on the BTR in the rear here. Oof. It's gone. So Bartok um, do you want us to then hold direct on or do you want us to try to Bartok probably responsible for that. He's getting himself some more ammo. And this BTR has gotta move away or it's gotta be ready to uh destroy anything that comes up over this uh this ridge line here. So Bartok's fire team, uh led by Blackbeard, had to have come up and over and got through the uh, U.S. line, or the Russian line. Okay, here we go. What is the BTR going to be? Is the BTR going to be able to pop Bartok before he gets a shot off? BTR not looking his direction. I'd say one or two more. Okay, what is Bartok? How's Bartok going to do? Is he going to try to get a rear side shot here? Yep, a little short. And the BTR rolls back. Nuke Dukem probably saw that shot coming in, and now the only thing really exposed from this position is the turret. Is Jenga going to be able to see Bartok? Bartok going to re- oh, what is Nova doing? Bartok going to reposition. Bartok gonna grab some more ammo here. Okay. 
Russian forces. Meanwhile, um, they're winning the game. A massive firefight and massive clearing going on here. There's like... Maybe like two or three more people living in this compound for U.S. Oh, they're all in this building. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe not. They're maybe they're all dead here. Let me frag. 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 Oh, Alpha Guido and Atomic Peach are still living inside this building with the radio. And it looks like Ronan has sent a squad in to come down the hill. They're making a move. Get over here, dipshit! This is the radio. Harness it. Whoever the fuck that is. G. Get your asses over here. There's one guy in this building. Just very close. Oh my god, you, you fucking mounted bar. Total war. Right, Total war don't give a shit. Left in this one guy, one guy. One guy, there's two. Oh, well, rip, kill out. He's sending a frag, don't fuck it up, Artisan. Oh, let's see if this frag. Alpha Guido spied by a Hasco block. He's living. The Atomic Peach is still alive, too. Everyone comes around the corner. Alpha Guido's still alive. Atomic Peach trades for Jive. What in the world? Alpha Guido's dead too. So, uh, he's down. I think they're down. Yeah, that's that's fucking okay. Epic. There we go. Um, Russians have cleared it out, <laughs> and the Russians have taken position on the hilltop, which U.S. have built up. So, Russian Russia's gonna have to do what U.S. failed to do in the beginning of the round. Um, meanwhile, Bartok's still on the hunt for this, um, Bartok's still on the hunt for this, uh, BTR, the BTR just using coax. is just, uh, shooting at people that are, that exist. Uh, three, five, one, three, five. Oh, guess what? Bartok right. popped his head up. Yeah. Woo! I, 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 I think you got him, but I don't... Yeah, so like the round mi from Bartok misses. Blackbeard is coming to take a look. Uh, that other guy's moving right. Everyone is peeking their head up oh, here. Is Jenga gonna kill Lenova? No. Alright, right, here comes Nuke back in the driver's seat. Gonna pull that BTR yeah, away. Good right here. Bartok. Got a little bit of death blade. And the enemy radio is down. So, just a few people left. Evan with, uh... No, oh, hold on. I just missed a shot. Second shot? Nope. Ooh, what a smoke. And the BTR is gonna make tracks. Oh wait, are we on fire? Oh, they might actually cook oh, off. Wait, let me repair. Oh, I don't repair. Stop, stop, stop. Can you repair? You yeah, we're on hurt. fire. You need, you need to repair it. Yeah, when you go on fire now, you gotta repair it until the fire goes out. Otherwise, you just keep losing health. Oh no, I think Bartok died in that last exchange. U.S. have maybe some more folks alive than I thought. Evan is here, and Fight Milk is still alive too. He's a little bit further away. Wait, is Hammered Hebrew dead? He's not, but he's got like two HP. Oh, Expit just got popped. Unfortunate. Twenty-eight kills for Russia, twenty-two kills for U.S. 
Meanwhile, Evan has uh, made it to the compound. I was what? wondering how he's killing everybody. Yeah, because they've just... <laughs> and Evan got spotted by Sergeant Jackson, and he's dead. It happens. Crewman. So Sergeant Jackson was able to get out of his BTR before it popped. Good for him. Remaining U.S. people alive. Fight milk with eyes on the compound. He knows what he has to do. Maybe Chameleon is still up. Chameleon is still up and he's going to run back. Um, Let's see here. Flatted po no, close. PVD runner. Made it out of the other compound. Oh, and he's got a setup. What's the start count Can again? Someone get to them, basically. Start That's count. Generally, it's about like, yeah, yeah, it's like 38 v 38. Help us staff up these compounds. I think, uh, I think Russia was like one short. So maybe it's like 38 v 37. Don't bother with Jackson. Just bother with, um, like, Hammered and, uh, Brubba and Gearwolf. BVD running around. Chameleon taking some shots. Fight Shit, Milk is... One of them. Uh oh. <laughs> God damn it, Elite. Go get them. Oh shit, enemies close, enemies close, uh, northwest, west. Ooh. BVD runner missing f Pest Pony there. Pony was just in the doorway. Pony's gonna shoot back. Salty Potato kind of had a window right there. And BVD Runner, ooh, he's going to try to find a place, a bipod, and get this door from. This is... I guess that works. Uh, he's 287, 287. <laughs> and he's going to move out. He hits a uh, piece of the barbed wire here. 29 kills for Russia, 25 kills for US. I'm sure fucking money and uh, demon Eisenstein will help sort this out. <laughs> Copy. Blackbeard with uh, Garrett still outside the compound. The BTR in the south making its move up. Uh, Chameleon's still alive. I think Fight Mill Chicks died over here on the ridge line. So it's down to one, two, three, four US, five US. Careful, careful. There are a lot of enemies out there. Because Nova's still up over here, too. I don't have time to remove the rest of this shit. We'll just do it later. All right, here's BVD Runner's distraction smoke. They're coming from the west. Coming from the west. Coming from the west, 100%. Ooh, nice smoke through the window. Smoking off the, uh, the command room. Sergeant Jackson just came in from the west. Watch it, sir, Jack. Hello, guys. Copy, watch out west, west, watch out west, watch out west. Enemies coming from the west. BVD yeah, runner yeah, missing yeah, Sergeant right, Jackson right. there. Sergeant Jackson just yolo through the front of the Enemy compound. As well. BVD runner has to use his M9. Yeah, I was engaging a couple of them, and I took out some threats to the direct north. Of them. Pony gets him through the Drop window. One. Good shit. Basically just back up, I guess. BTR's coming back in to try to support us. Pony, where you want me Cop. to tell him to go? Blackbeard's uh, got himself. To go to G Bartok and Nova and Cop. Garrett. Because I'm an asshole. Guys, I want, I'm, uh, I'm I want to win. To west. Cop. Yeah. Total. Just so you know, you're, uh, you're Post contact report of one KIA, EKIA is on the stream. Uh, meanwhile, the US organized effort of Garrett, Blackbeard, Bartok, and Nova are going to retake this hill. Is Chameleon still alive? No, Chameleon is dead. Or Chameleon ran back to the compound. Yes, he's at the compound. Blackbeard's still looking I for that, uh... Get away, and then I took a reverse slope defense, and I sat there for a while. And then they Blackbeard's still looking for the BTR. And I took out uh, maybe one of them, and now they've shifted all the way to our west. 
they're looking for the BTR. I guess they want that kill before they move in. Oh, who died? Nova's dead. Is Blackbeard dead too? I don't see him. Seems to be just Bartok and Garrett here. With Blackbeard dead. Bartok still has his rocket. I imagine he really wants a chance at this uh, BTR. He might actually get it if he's patient enough, but Bartok and Garrett are going to make a run to the compound up and over the hill. Frankly, I mean, there's no one, there's no point having command comms anymore because no one has them except me. And Chameleon takes a shot at Gera here. Gera, where'd that shit from? And Gera gets killed through the. Ooh! Watch out, frag rocket going out. Wow, look at that. I think that was. Sergeant Jackson? Where was that from? That was, was my rock. Watch out, assault. Whew. What a shot there. Gera goes down because he gets um, he gets shot through the side of the uh, sandbag wall. But Chameleon doesn't have a chance. Didn't have a chance. So now it's Bartok and Garrett here. Garrett's gonna go around the side of the hill, so odds are he's gonna see the BTR. Oh no, maybe not. Bartok throws a uh, frag rocket in. Doesn't appear to actually get anyone. Oh, Money Man in the open. Money Man v Bartok. Mon Money Man uh, gets to some cover and he's probably gonna bandage here. Bartok. I don't think he has a rocket left. <laughs> uh, Nuke and Jenga just run over Money Man. Like you do. And just show his ass to Bartok. Oh my god! Bartok kills the BTR. Two dead. Plus Demon Einstein dying from the explosion. Wow. Is Bartok dead now? No, Bartok's not dead. Uh, Garrett gets destroyed by Money Man. And Bartok just kills Money Man outright. Wow. Okay. Bartok Warrior. The master. Bartok the master. Officially. Um, let's take a look. Bartok on five kills. Not as much as uh, Evan here with his six, which is also kind of amazing. <laughs> oh god, that sucks, man. And here comes Bartok. Coming down the mountain. He's going to make a run at uh, Sergeant Jackson and Elite. With no one on the hilltop oh, above hey, them. Close, over here. Sergeant Jackson heard him. All right. And there Look we go. Out. Jackson kills Bartok. And that should be GG. In the end of round one of Operation Crazy Horse. A crazy ride, 36 kills for Russia, 31 kills for US. And US looks like they may have had about six or seven folks left there. Okay, here we go. All right, yep, here we go. Uh, that's kinda cool. Everyone did a, everyone did as well as they could do last round. Everyone did as well as they could do. It's hard to compete against a BTR that's engaging you from 800 meters away. Especially when all we have are lats that are not affected at that range or non-scoped weapons.
It, it's it's tough, I know, but we'll fucking stomp them just as hard as they almost stomped us. Uh, Bartok, you did a fantastic job killing both BTRs and killing all those other people. Uh, Guido and Peach did a great job fucking holding that FOB building for a while, killing five guys in there. Not the chain restaurant, but at five individual soldiers. And... Whoa, the memes. Everyone else did your part. Uh, this time around, we're gonna do our part again, but in a more constructive way. So, Alpha Guido's gonna take his squad, his squad's gonna occupy Fox 8 Hill. They're where the five mark is. They're going to be looking north. They're going to be looking east. They're going to be getting eyes on contacts for us. Evan's squad is going to be in charge of the BTRs. And in those BTRs will be Ronin and Canine squad. They're going to be going on the path marked. Evan's going to set his BTRs up kind of looking north. They're going to be up on the mountaintops up here where that area is. They're going to be looking up that way. They're going to be getting eyes all over the north side. And they're going to be engaging targets freely at their own discretion. Uh, priorities obviously go to enemy lats, enemy heavy weapons such as 50 cows or MRAPs, and uh, any enemy squad leaders that are seen. In the meantime, while the BTRs are engaging contacts, we've got Ronin squad taking this path straight north, and then slightly further east, we have K9 squad coming up the east side. So we're basically going to be going up the J and India columns, so the Juliet and India columns. And we're going to be sweeping basically from southeast to northwest. From southeast to northwest. Their fob could very well be way the fuck up here in these positions I just marked. If it is, that fucking sucks for us. But we're going to fucking stomp them no matter what. So, uh, again, we've got Sloth Boy here as my uh, shadow. For the purposes of this round, Sloth Boy will be the 2IC, followed by Evan, then Alpha Guido, then Ronin, then Canine. So it'll go 4, 3, 2, 1 after Sloth Boy. Any questions or concerns? You have time for two. Okay, I hear none. So let's get ready for live. Let's go, boys. I got demoted. What? Look at this. So the Juliet Kilo line is the limit of how far east the FOB can be placed. So Pony places it 200 meters away, no, 60 meters away from the border. This is nuts. He gets, from the Juliet line, he gets 12 minutes to run logistics. And we are live with round two of Operation Crazy Horse. One squad on foot. This is also nuts. These guys are gonna take forever to get where they need to go. So we're gonna have time to like spin around and just like do things. Bravo, we're heading straight forward. We're just gonna watch these guys, I think. That's a fucking long ways to walk. Nice. Scroob is thinking. Also, your link might be deleted, uh, Boogie. Please no links in the chat. Um, the, the bot may actually kick you. Busy. No, you have not, and I was also too you busy starting a job. Epic grenade flow. Oh, oh I, I rushed flow. a fucking bunker with a guy inside of it, and I just fucking, like, with only a grenade. And it was like one of those exploding pink grenades. I fucking flushed so it out and everything was great. Rush on the move. Sorry, it's not my. It's the it's the bot, man. The bot is gonna do it. The bot rules this channel, don't you know? Anyway, here we go. Jack running one BTR with Sebi as a gunner, and looks like UJK is driving the other with Silas in the gunner seat. Everybody else piled in a transport, and Alpha Guido's squad has split up into fire teams, and they are running different locations. I heard the call to prayer and I immediately thought of that fucking like uh bit from Jarhead where they come over the hill screaming. What? I'm full of references today, I'm sorry. Everyone's full of references today, Scroob. It's reference day, 
Can you get the memo? Okay, uh, Russia going to take forever to get in position, so let's just go fly over and take a look at, um, we're going to fly over and take a look at um, U.S.'s position. What is this? There's a tran- there's a Logi truck. Oh. Oh my. Pony has moved a squad south of the FOB. Closer to Radio Tower. And as we get, as our, you see the yellow camera there? As we get closer to US positions, they magically appear. Oh my. Okay, so one squad here at Radio Tower. Question, was Blackbeard mentioning something about a road? Because my guy somehow heard it all the way over here and it was definitely Blackbeard's voice. It came in clear as day. I. I've been hearing some kind of weird yes, audio bugs did. like that. Alright, yeah, apparently I heard him in local as if he was right next to me all the way up here. I I heard you do the same thing last round, Ghosts. so I have no idea. It, it's clearly so the weird. spirit realm. We've tapped into the spirit realm, and that's the explanation that they're looking for, that they just aren't bringing themselves to actually disclose here um, in, the, uh, in the game. So... U.S. have a squad. They're going to take up a uh, position here on the hill just south of the radio tower. This is a great position. They're going to have some awesome uh, sight lines on Russia as they do things like crest hills and generally expose themselves. I mean, look at this BTR. If anyone was actually looking, they would actually see this BTR. But these guys aren't yet. They haven't even gotten in position. And I wonder, the BTRs are actually looking this direct. Dorf has gotten out. The BTR is going down the hill. Uh, <laughs> the BTR still has infantry in it. The transport's just going by like, what's up, dudes? Uh, I think the BTR is about ready to start shooting some people. Uh, yes, Sapo. So, matter of fact, let me go over these details here because this is something I forgot to do for round two at the beginning. So in operations, we have limited use, uh, limited uh, sort of uh, abilities for right, both teams. No contact, for Russia, so infantry squads are limited to river, one squad so. lead, one FTL kit, two ARs, and one medic. The platoon as a whole also, no has four field. lats, two medium machine guns, and four assistants yeah, or ammo bearers um, um, for the whole team. Right right so those could be split up into individual teams. We're going to fly over here and take a look at uh, this uh, other squad's position here uh, while I keep going over. You, Russia have two BTR-80s and one transport truck for the entire platoon. Two BTR-80s, extremely important here because they have the heavier cannon. Oh my. Oh my. The transport drops off a squad. Cool. And I think this transport is going to keep going. <clears throat> They're going to get shot at. These guys are going to shoot these. Rus U.S. are going to shoot at these Russians, right? No, they're not because they're moving. One, as as you did I think Gerwolf saw these guys. Oh, yeah. Gerwolf got him. Oh, no. I see dead bodies. No, they're not dead bodies. Okay. Several wounded here. That's bad. Don't get shot. Vladi Putin has been hit. And Gorwolf is just having to have a field day from this position. Goon gets shot through. And now Gorwolf starting to receive fire, but he's still deployed. Scottish chap trying to get into cover here. Vladi Putin is in cover, and enough bullets now finally cause Gorwolf to displace. That is rough. So you can see, this is squad two here. They're deployed all along this hillside. Revy actually got all the way down to the village. An entire squad here is sort of now stuck. Some of them don't have real good positions to fall back through. Modern Death found his way to this uh, compound here. There are some uh, 
No uh, casualties yet. But... That's still rough, though. Your transport just got rolled through, and the only thing that saved your transport, or the troops in the transport, are the fact that they're in the transport. Oh, BVD Runner looks like he's been hit pretty hard. Don't Get Shot is still stuck in the open here. He's throwing smokes to try to get himself out. Or maybe he's throwing smokes to try to help uh, K9 here. The goon returning fire, you can see his AR. Oh no, goon goes down. That's casually number one. Russia loses a guy to US here. Revy in the compound here is himself a nice solid wall, but US or the Russian forces are still in the open. Revy's gonna catch back up with everyone over here. Don't get shot, gets killed. I think that was Money Man. More bullets just getting put into Don't Get Shot's dead body here. Uh, let's keep on going over loadouts here, because we haven't gone over US. US have one squad lead. Uh, hello. Wait a second. Was that a Carl? U.S. have a Carl Gustav? U.S. have a Carl Gustav! Whoa! I gotcha. Wow. Okay. So, U.S. loadouts, let me go over this one more time. U.S. loadouts are one squad lead, one FTL, uh, two ARs, one medic per squad. The platoon armory is four lats, light and light to take, two medium machine guns, two assistants, two engineers. The BTR are now putting some fire here, and the squad is moving out. There we go, that's good. And looks like the BTR might have also engaged these guys over here that were on radio tower. They're falling back. Guido, I don't want you sweeping into me, and I want you to say at least 100 And south. here is Alpha Guido. Copy. I was going to uh, sweep both north and south of it. I was going to send a fire team on. Hearing over command comms, Guido is setting himself up in a line, and he's going to um, he's going to go ahead and sweep north. A Taking a look at some positions here. A uh, Matt V is actually positioned over here in Kilo 4. This is an overhead position, and U.S. are still using logistics. U.S. are limited. Their logistics must be escorted by a Matt V. So you see a Matt V here, driven by bump with assault in the gunner's seat, has got um, Jive with a Lodgy. And they're reinforcing their radio here in uh, Juliet 7. With a squad, looks like about a squad and a half, uh, loitering around the fob radio itself. Yeah, Lodgy's going east. Squad one here was on the radio, and they've fallen back into the valley, and now they're going to find some that. different positions here. They're going to try to get in the hills, make sure they're not, get, they're not getting spanked from the west here. Meanwhile, Expit squad was on the southern hill, and they've completely fallen back. Russian forces have pushed north convoy, of the river now. And the convoy has been spotted. I think that's a ridge right there. We can't see. They're in, uh, I'm pretty sure the compound's either Juliet 791 or Juliet 668. Juliet 7 so has sure been called out as a potential. Oh, I have eyes on the fob. I have eyes on the fob. Oh, and the fob's in the open. Is the fob in the open? Well, what's, what's the grid? It's, it's exactly as I said. It's one of those two compounds. It's... Okay. Just repeat them. Oh, hey, look. Haskell walls. It's, uh... It's Juliet 669. Or some shit like that. haskell -rific. Um, anyway, I was almost done going over U.S. loadouts before everything else happened. You can see U.S. are adding on to their compound defenses right now. Barbed wire wall. 
uh, US loadouts, their vehicle allotment is two Mat Vs and two Lodges. And they are FOB, they can build an HMG tripod, fortifications, and they can run logistics. Since they're in the Juliet column, yep. or the All Juliet right, so file yeah, rather, uh, they have 12 minutes to run logistics. So they have about uh, three minutes left. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, because we went live at 7.42. Actually, this may be the last minute that they can run logistics. So they're going to be done. And you can see here the main entrances to this compound. While there are some auxiliary entrances through, like, uh, smaller homesteads here, um, they are... Uh, Oh, hey, take a look. A little bunker. Enemy They're still building. Like and look at this Hasco wall Enemy with barbed wire in front of it so they're not going to be jumped. Compound. Pony's really taking some thought here into this uh, defense. I wonder how much more supply he'll actually be placing down here. You can see Pony, the uh, US command for this round, is running around. He's but looking for cool closing. things. He's hitting it. Oh, yeah, those get He's looking for cool things to build. And that BTR. Gara's still up here with Salty Potato in Kilo 4. Hey, MRAP is further up. I, look, I don't know if that's edit the main or their MRAPs, but... And at this further point, north. Assault... Yeah, Bump is out of it, and Assault is good. in the gunner seat, I imagine. He's looking for contacts. They're making sure they're not going to hit from the north. Now with the mod, we can disable things like main base protection. And that will allow forces to move through the map, not be hindered by things like main base protection. So typically in a vanilla map, things like shooting, like the Matt V trying to engage three from here, if he had a line of shot, which he, line of sight, which he probably doesn't. Uh, if he was decided north, to engage from here, he couldn't shoot through range. because his bullets would be eaten by main base protection. Likewise, the same thing would happen for Russia yeah, if they tried to shoot back. But they would get hit by main base protection. Covered. That's not a thing we have in the mod. It allows for more of the map to be used. It allows for closer main spawn points um, to the central part of the map without having to worry about things that are going over because we only use these maps in operations. Operations are pretty, they're not strict because there are various uh, tactics you can employ to figure out a situation. MRAP is actually engaging. Oh, oh, the BTR is hitting the MRAP. It seems to be at range. Um, hitting an MRAP at range with a BTR. The BTR auto cannon isn't that strong, and the damage drop off is real. And while the damage drop off is probably significant against the MRAP here, the uh, infantry, if the infantry get by the auto cannon, they're probably done. Yeah, um, usually one life operations are one life. In certain situations, we'll run. Uh, scenarios that will include respawns, but those are relatively rare, and those have specific rules. U.S. forces firing back at range here. Uh, your nightmare has got himself a um, a medium machine gun shooting on uh, some Russian forces here. Vlad Putin looks like he wants to take a shot. Yeah, he's going to send some rounds over. Demon Einstein standing up. But saying Obama able to respond with this M249. Oh, no. Vehicles, you can uh, totally... You can totally grab ammo off vehicles. Although rearming of kits is generally... On the actual not something that's done in operations. You won't see, you won't usually see ammo crates in operations. You'll see vehicles, and there are, um, in the mod we have a uh, kit called an ammo bearer. Scottish chap 
eats a rocket but he misses saying Obama. Uh, like I was saying, you'll see a kit called an ammo bear. Let me see if I can find one here. Yep, here's one right here. You see the icon, it's got an ammo box. He's got the uh, Rifleman ammo bag that Rifleman would typically have in the vanilla game. Uh, he's got it here for uh, his squad and people can rearm off of him. Also in the mod, the... Um, See anything? No. Nope. Also in the mod, the, uh, what was I going to say? Right, oh, binoculars are gone right? from most kits. The only ones Three, that are going to have binocula uh, binoculars are going to be the FTL and the squad lead. Okay. Possible good location on These two guys um, are leadership in the squad, and it's worth it to have leadership be able to observe enemy positions, but not everyone needs to have that capability. Also, you may notice that there's really no optics in the mod. Uh, you'll see some uh, things like the M this M249 here is a red dot. That's about as much optic as you'll see in One Life operations. Like maybe once a year you will see a kit that has a like a 4X or an ACOG or anything like that actually used in operation. Two kills for Russia, two kills for U.S. As we near the 20 minute mark here in the round two. Everyone participating is aware of the rules. So. Ooh, look at that. Vladi Putin throwing some rounds here really close. Commander, be advised. It looks like they're pulling guys back onto the point. I got a group in the I-7 area. Russia back. closing right, in now. If I put my BTR up there, is that good? Oh. Yeah, good. Good. The MRAP in Kilo 4 has been abandoned or everyone's been shot out of it. Oh, no. Meanwhile, uh, Bump and Assault have put, placed their MRAP over here <laughs> in uh, this compound. That's cool. And I think Bump and Assault here are about ready to start engaging these Russians that are on this hillside. Oh, hey, look, there's a BTR, too. MRAP gonna start shooting at the BTR. Oh, there goes Assault. He's dead. Bump's gonna try to save the Mat-V. And I don't think it's worth it anymore. It's taking a lot of damage. Bump is going to try to... There, there's no reason to save that thing. Bump needs to get away or else he's going to die in the explosion. And some infantry have been running up the hill here. Xbit gets hit. He's got hit pretty hard. He goes down by the uh, MRAP. Or the BTR. The MRAP pops. Lots of infantry scattered around here. They're just trying to find cover from this BTR. It's in a really... The infantry's in a really bad spot. Although, if they're able to just get over this hill, they can link back up with their main base and join the defense proper. Evan, tell Silas to look left about five degrees. He'll see a shitload more guys. Hearing smokes get thrown here. They're trying to reposition. Revy is crawling. He's already been hit once. He's on command comes. Gerwolf hits hit right at the end. But is able to dodge pretty much everything that Coax is sending his way. They're still building uh emplacements. They're still building emplacements. They're building them uh Let's see if I can find this. 
up like Juliet six dwarf six, on six, the six, command six, com. Six, yep, look at this. US are still building fortifications off the point. There's a lot of sandbag walls here. Elite and Seer Chess along with Kuba. Kuba's a squad lead. He's got his eyes north. He's looking for this uh, Russian squad that's... Uh... Nice. Kuba lives because the RPG lands on the outside of the wall. Lucky. U.S. have really fallen back here. This is like two squads on the point. One squad off. And there's... Oh, Gara and... This is the MRAP crew. They ditched the MRAP, question mark? This is Gar and Salty Potato. They, they, they ditched their Matt V in the north here. Um, whoa. That's weird. So what happened to the Zimrap that they ditched it for? I don't see smoke. Right. One, if you are confident, you can go ahead and push north towards Fob Connolly. Uh. Copy. We're going to move northeast because we'll. I wonder what the deal is. These guys yeah, are running right. away. Go go five eyes on the compound. What do you want me to do? I want you to push east. I want you to push east. What is this? Hold on. Wait a second. Hold the phone. What in the world? I think we're a little fucking loose right now. Are these guys alive? Wait a second. Terrapin and Sunny are on the northern map border. Two, that is two. Oh my god. So, four and two, your infantry will all move up together, and you will hit the objective compound from the west. Northwest. What are these guys... So their, so their existence here is to simply screen the north? But they've let a whole squad through. Yeah, Aper, I know. Evan, go ahead and move your position, your BTRs. Reposition your BTRs as ne uh, necessary. Alpha Guido squad. Oh man, if Terrapin gets eyes on this, Evan, he can kill a fire team. Repeat that. Is yeah, there so is I bet you Sunny has eyes on this. There Terrapin's crawling for an advantage point. Oh my goodness sakes. K9 will take Connolly. I want Guido pushing south. Oh, expect Terrapin to open fire here very shortly. Before we do, Russians here surrounding this compound. There's three squads really operating here strongly. Two kills for US, six kills for Russia. Oh my word. This could be amazing if Terrapin opened fire. What are they waiting for? There's a plan here. There's a plan that I'm not aware of. And that's simply what's going on here. Russians are moving in. They're 300, 400 meters away from the compound now. They have a BTR looking straight at it. They have one BTR looking at it. Where's the second BTR? Did we lose it already? Did you lose the BT? No, the BTR is over here at radio. Evan, how well can 
your BTR cover me from radio. Repeat that. Clearly, I'm this your BTR cover me from radio when I try to push off here. Terrapin and Sunny are just here you to move south once these guys start going down the hill. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. That's the uh, Matt V that's dead at, at Connolly. Northeast are gonna be a problem. J six six eight. Uh, radio tower is there, and you can see there's the BTR that's shooting into the valley. Missed their chance? I don't think they've missed their chance. I think their chance will come very soon. I think they're going to maneuver south as soon as those guys get down the hill. The whole Kilo 6 grid and the whole Lima 6 grid over there is pretty damn hot. They got fire teams and buddy teams over there. And the BTR... That's not a BTR. That's Mankey's. He's got himself a position. Minky's adding fire here sporadically. I saw tracers come this way. Say it again. Radio tower side, so eastern. Guido, look to your south. There's guys fucking coming over the hilltop. Yeah, eyes on. We got a MRAP up here. We're gonna try to fucking deal with first. A perp. Two, what's your head? Head count, I'm all. No okay, KIA. Hey, Burp. Four, can you have your BTR site engaging, please? We're getting suppressed. Straight east, correct? Straight east, FOB Connolly. That's your fucking north. Yes, but I'm doing for them. Apologies. and uh, J692 are going to be an issue. I would suggest Squad 3 helping to attack it. Yeah, Squad 3 is moving into position to do that now. They're pretty close. 2, you hold up until Squad 3 is in a better position. Squad 3 is getting sporadic engagement up here. It's mostly harassing, but it's slowing us down. Understood. Maybe we can swing a BTR around more north. The salted potato want to take a shot at that? Evan, if you can. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Right. Evan, we're we shooting at a shit ton of stuff to... here. I'll try. Okay. Ooh, man. Lots of sporadic fire still going on here, directed towards the, uh, Driving BTR to the base down. here. I believe the building has been completed. I just need some resting fire on the point. Um, if you're like directly to the west of it, you should be able to see a lot. 
And you're still at a pretty good distance. See, the Russian forces in blue here have got a pretty good encirclement right, so going right on, but they... Attack, two spread out. So two and three will make a consolidated, coordinated push onto the objective. Once friendly BTR has arrived to support them, one will keep pushing to take Bob Connolly with the support of Silas's BTR. Uh, once Bob Connolly is taken, we should Dorf's got some break this thing orders for command. So they're going to take Connolly, and then with Connolly, they're going to use the um, the elevation here to really rein in on the uh, compound itself. Lots of fire going on here in the north. There's an infantry squad in the open. Oh man, Blackbeard's fire team is just living life on the edge. They're taking AR fire. Russians are moving through US Maine. I heard a rocket get fired. Are you fucking kidding? Oh no. With one BTR down, that's bad news for the Russian advance. They're gonna have to deal with, they're gonna have to have their BTR that's now pushing Connolly. Means this Connolly push is now All more right, so important than him. ever. And K9 squad is starting to make headway into Connolly here. It's not over yet. Russia have a pretty strong lead right now. Ten kills to five for US. Here comes BTR. It's going to stroll right into Connolly here. As oh no, Gerwolf is bump over here somewhere. Bumps. I don't see Bump anymore. Maybe Bump's dead. Yeah, Bump's dead, so... I think I just had one. Gerwolf's running! BTR's 100%. Did Grunt not see him? Oh my god! What? When you clear that compound, I need Stream is looking good. I appreciate it. I hope it's actually looking real good. I changed some settings. They're trying to make it as crisp as possible. Um, Gerwolf gets... grenaded or something. Um, meanwhile... Hello, BTR! Revy's dead. Revy got destroyed by a BTR and K9 just bum rushing him. Gerwolf and Money Man are the remaining uh, infantry here, anywhere around <laughs> Connolly. Uh, Gerwolf has got his way back into the compound. Right there, right there, right there, right there. He's right there. He's behind us. Uh, right there. Right uh, Gerwolf, uh, came face to face with a BTR and decided no thank you. Oh, look at Vlad at the team. Oh, he's just climbing into the compound. Um. Oh, wolf. Hebrew's dead. And he gets a grenade for good measure. Mr. Money Man still chilling on the outside of this compound here. Doesn't have eyes on uh, BBD Runner here. Wait, Gorf just ran into the cop. Zero South. one five. How long this, uh, okay, Gorf ran out of the compound. I thought he was in the compound there for a second. I got real confused, and that'd have been weird. Money Man's still chilling as U.S. have taken over Connolly. Oh, but guess what? Salty Potato and. Uh, Salty Potato's been hit, but uh, Gara over here still. Compound is clear. Apologies. Uh, just They're looking for Russians running up. Roger, keep pushing northwest. Keep pushing northwest. Um, I wonder if they know that Connolly's a bad place right now. Uh, 
Joker gun. You got one U.S. soldier lying outside the wire on the south side. Just come up in south. North side. Alpha Guido spots Gerwolf. The lower part, that little like connector part. Wait. He's just prone uh, down there. Somewhere. No, he sees Money Man. Eh, no, he's still there. I think he's by a bunker. Check. Lima seven five five. Okay. Lima seven five six. Check that one. Two, how you? Uh, we're doing all right. We're currently clearing this compound. Got enemy contacts here. U.S. calling Alamo. Makes sense. Russians yeah, pushing in. Pushing in close here on the north side. Evan, I suggest you and your squad start pushing. Rubber Pelican is still up? Yeah, Question we're, mark? Because Nuclear right. Twister is definitely dead. How in the world did I die? I wish I knew, Elite. I'm sorry I missed it. Here, Rubber Pelican. Oh, that might have been the answer for you. Yeah, dude, he's. Oh no, he's in. He's in the southern, southern building. building. He fragged the southern building. All right. Have yeah, south, I already put a frag right on it, but he didn't get inside. Be careful of mine. Rubber Pelican. Right, yeah, he's still okay. up. He's still we're, up. He's still up. Right, we cover that. Cover that window. We're gonna put people in, and then we're just gonna mass frag it. Ready? Oh, Blackbeard's dead. And Fight Milk gets um, Rubber yeah, Pelican through the window. That was Blackbeard going down. Uh, Garrett, you get another kill? Garrett just killed Total War, I think. What a shot. What a shot. What? I don't know what Storm was shooting at here. Oh, apparently there was someone here? Question mark? I heard him die. Yeah, I, I can see his dead body. I can see his dead body. Am I missing something? Yeah, Arizona was bad. Alright, Cam, Cam. Cam, wait. I missed it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Salty Potato. Fucking Christ, it's still shooting! Relax, dude. They're not shooting at you. You're getting ganked by someone else. Well, he's dead, so... One, I need you to push it north into that ridge to your north. What was that? Make sure you are fully... Make sure that compound is fully secure. And clear it out. I see my uh, be advised, we did have a contact to our south. We don't know where he is gone. Yeah, I see him all down in that compound. Hey, be what's your... Make sure your... it's fully clear down there. Two, how you... What the world was that communication? I'm pretty sure I still have contact in front of me. I was just gonna ask, is uh, did Guido die to the buddy team? No idea. Is that what happened? I'm gonna move over here to cover. Wait a second. Did that really just happen? No, that didn't just happen. Wait. Are these two still alive in the north? <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> that just... Where are these guys? Where are these guys? I should be looking right at them. They should be in front of me. Oh yes, eyes on contact, eyes on contact there. The big compound, Juliet 791. Juliet oh 791. my god. I think... That is the objective compound. I think Juliet Alpha Guido... I think Alpha Guido just got killed by Terrapin. What? I want you moving west. I want oh you my god. I want you moving straight south. Or I want you to move south towards me. And Peach is running for it. I think Guido was with Peach. Russians getting closer here. Kuba kills Hawk. He's got himself some sandbags here, but the BTR is looking at other Russians. He's looking at Gerwolf. Gerwolf's still up here. Do the gold switcheroo. Fire some rounds at the sandbags and then check. Late stream tonight. I mean, it's 11 o'clock right now. You're on a different target.
And now it checks out. This is three. Alpha Guido's dead. I'm the new actual. Thank you, three. Uh, three. Our objective Fuck. compound is Juliet 791. Oh, man. There's a lot of enemy contacts in the This is a nutso round of Crazy Wars right now. I hope you guys are enjoying. I appreciate all 61 of you watching right now on Twitch. Every single one of you are special, and I hope you feel good. I hope you guys are enjoying. Oh, picks himself out, gets destroyed by coax fire. He got over. Better he's dead, I don't know. Right, Koopa's still in. alive, and Beef Baby's right. just rolling in. Oh my. Oh, <gasps> Gara! He didn't see anyone last round. And he just got shot. Oh! Kuba. Kuba got himself a nice position, Mary. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous position. Sandbags galore, and I don't think any of these Russians know what's going on. The BTR is just pushing up here, though. We're gonna get hit by a lot. Now we'll be alright. You wanna move up here? Check your, uh, north. Uh, let's... Right, yeah. waiting for the lap. Copy, going on support. Oh, oh. Yeah, you were that was uh, I saw him. I saw him. Two, two, you were engaging me. <laughs> Command getting shot. Go up that logic too while you're at. Uh, Command is over here on this hill. Kill them. Oh, there's uh, another one at two eighty. He's by those blue doors. 280 blue door. Yep, yeah, blue doors. Yeah, I see him. Lethal almost gets shot yeah, in the so. face. Nice. You still get him? Oh, uh, oh Sestolo. Like Thanks, man. Yep. Oh, that slick little bastard ran around. I'm sorry I don't have the YouTube chat on my, uh, on my monitor over here. I apologize, but I appreciate you guys watching on YouTube. Yeah, sorry for moving up here, uh, so, you're, you're, you're good, man. Uh, we doing it, we doing it right now. Russia really closing in. This is Alpha 15. This is Alpha 15, we're using the Squad Ops mod. The BTR just kills Partisan. And Russians now have an elevated position into the compound. Speaking of the compound, Sled of a Music Cue... Or, Music... Yes, yes, yes. What's here? Ammo bag, keep no grenades. The idea. That was an idea. You first, I'll cover. He's gonna throw some grenades. Number one, doesn't quite make it. There is an AR on the south side, the southeast side of that compound. The MG took all the grenades for, er, uh, took all the ammo for me. And music out of ammo. I don't know if I got that. Um, oh, another grenade. A little far. Okay. Might have hit Jive there with a little bit of a frack. Ooh, and then BTR, I think, just destroyed Jive. Dude, look at Gara and Salty Potato. Living life. Yeah, man. Sestolo, appreciate you. Uh, appreciate the comments, man. We're always broadcasting live when operations happen. We try to get VODs out there, um, after the fact. Content's been a little up and down lately, but, um, rest assured we're working on it. Directly to you guys east right now. That we get it. If you're an esports fan of anything longer than, like, four years, you know what I get it means. And I get it. What's our move? Sled have just died. I've got 300... I've got contact Oof. to my east. How did Sled have die? He was like right here. 
Who's shooting him? Uh, meanwhile, Terrapin and uh, Terrapin and Sunny. Oh my goodness! Russians are all around. Look at the spacing right now. Oh, is Bartok going to try to put a frag rocket on these guys? That would be glorious. He's going to put a frag rocket on these guys. Does he see Sunny? Bartok versus Sunny. Sunny runs out. Oh my god. Yeah, he's going to eat a frag rocket right here. Sunny able to outrun the frag rocket. An AR on me. Get an AR on me. Look this way. Look, zero five. Zero fifteen. There are people running down the hill. Are you Be careful to watch. Running down the hill from zero uh, fifteen all the way to zero nineteen. Oh no! Is this salty potato? Salty potato. Most of this compound's clear. Oh, there might be some. Yeah, salty potato is actually shooting these guys. Sunny and Terrapin live to fight another day here. This is nuts right now. There's so much action going on. Someone just got on a 50 cal and gunned down a friendly. Which is not true. Russians are making themselves in now. Bartok missing another rocket. Aethel. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, someone tried to jump a wall, and there's a tripod literally set up to watch one place. Who's got ammo back? Who's got ammo back? Yikes! And a half. This is the most alpha Chad like. Right, HMG so position you will ever base. find in this off. game. It is literally it positioned yeah, yeah, yeah. to shoot this wall. Why does Crispy have different camo? We're gonna take this building right here to 240. Alright, remember me. Why does Crispy have wood link camo? The sandbags in here, be careful. Uh, let's figure this out real quick. That's clear. That's clear. Crispy is an FTL, right, so this. maybe it's an FTL with the red dot, but even Don't then... watch both ways. Or watch uh, both ways. Who knows? Oh, shit. Holy shit. That was close. Just hold this, hold this room for now. Hold this room for now. Russians pushing out here. They're making a... They're trying to get a foothold in this compound. Yeah, could be that. Music, I'm so glad you're here. We could use your expertise here. And we have Pony and Aethel on the radio. We have... We need, uh... Here in the I'm northeast really corner. Different angles of this door, because we can't push through this door yet. <laughs> it's a call okay. four vet. That's funny. All right, we need all different angles. It's basically, it's, think of it as like a it's definitely the mod, but it's obviously not something that's supposed to happen, in elite. But, you know, all mods in squad are work in progress, just like the game is a work in progress. To the north. There might be an element up there, I'm not sure. Um, 28 kills for Russia, 24 kills for US. It's close, but... Russia still have forces off the point. got a window on the southwest side of the building. Wait for them to make mistakes. Wait for them to make mistakes. Aethel has himself a, uh... They are, they are. Aethel is shooting through the top of this door. Hold, hold the thing. Hold the angles. They're gonna make a mistake. Trust me. This Hold. is clear. You have any frags? Oh, look at this. Modern death. Evan gets killed by Mighty. I need backup. Are you in here? Can modern death do yes. anything about it? Oh, look at this. Mr. Wilbur has actually hey, let me got hit. Hey, give me, give me a guy on me. I need a guy on me. Rifleman on me. It looks like there's only. Nope, Mr. Wilbur's dead. Got peeked through the window, so Modern, you through the angle. door. Looks yeah, like I'm a, I'm a three Russians now the holding the area. Gara is still off point, to my, to my and north. Sunny and Terrapin are running in from the north. That's clear, that's clear, that's clear. Okay. Garrett is actually looking for this contact still. I think Terrapin just saw him. Yeah, I copy that. I was talking to him. 
Yep, rounds come in and Garrett gets hit. Garrett comes off the top of the hill. Yeah, He's going to have the bandage to stabilize. Music, you got frag. No, I don't. I don't. I have an idea for this. Fuck. Hey, screw up. I need you to light up this window. He's talking Pony is in this compound as well. You can see Aethel's outline and Second Mighty is right left. below me. How much is I don't this? know just which window. I don't, I don't know which room. window. I don't know which window. Mighty takes a shot at... Ooh, mighty headshots music there. Left side window. Here comes a grenade. Oh, that grenade actually made it. Grenade. Uh, we're getting down. There's a dude in this fucking building. But the grenade goes through the door. We can't get eyes on him. He's got. He's just used it. So. Right side. Ooh, Scrooby takes down uh, mighty there. And Russian forces continuously pushing through. Oh, Crispy's still here. Aethel guns down Jannings. Crispy's That's still here, gun. and Pony and Aethel are still here. Fight Milk has to bandage. But he's gonna get killed by Crispy in the back. Ronan's dead. Aethel kills him through the window. In that There's some bad what? trading going on right here. On the wall. Oops. Shit. Uh, t 31 kills for Russia, 30 right, kills for well, US is yeah, becoming so close. The BTR is still up. How did everyone die in there one? There's a hill to the northeast uh, of, just of us that if the BTR could get to, he could fire right through that doorway. Well, you guys, okay. Anybody have comms for that? And Crispy kills modern death. Oh man, it's literally three people now just holding this Yo. compound. What do you know? Command is now Garrett? catching up. And Terrapin Garrett. and Sunny are coming in from the north. This is bad news. Perfect. Oh. If Silas um, is. Yeah, we can. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take you north and then come up behind him. Where the fuck is it? Where is this guy? There are three guys. Thorpe, get over here, get over here. I'll tell you. The building over here, there's one man. The building just across here, possible one man, if he isn't already dead. Left side window. It, engage the engage the building he's in. Just fucking shoot the building. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Is that how everyone fucking died? Well, Dorf's about to die here. No. Aethel takes some shots. Crispy... ...shoots Sloth in the back and kills Dorf! Oh my god. Dead nade. Garrett's dead. The US have turned it back. Three men holding the compound with Sunny now in tow. What happened to, uh... And the- and UJ Key gets out of the, uh, BTR. No more infantry, it's just Scroob, UJ Key, and, uh, Silas. Uh, uh, US are now in the advantage here. 34 kills to 32 for Russia. UJ Key... is approaching the compound from the west. Oh my god. And... No fucking reality is this to play. Can you hear me? You I am directly can't. across from you. There's a guy between me and you. I have him locked down to this building to my left. Your right. Oh, does Sonny have... Sonny doesn't have a window here, but he's gonna hear UJ Key strolling around around here. Silas is still in the BTR. Americans gonna run ammo? Yeah, I don't know. I kinda doubt it. There's four of them here, and I guarantee you Sonny hasn't used, like, half of his ammo. Crispy's position here is pretty strong. Although, if you Jake, he gets lucky, he can probably breach it. Sonny's position... 
All he's doing is looking at the blue door, and UJK is about ready to come through. If UJK decides to clear the building right here in front of him... And I mean the literal towel directly in front of me on this clothesline. Don't get any ideas. Oh, Scroops climbed up on top of a sandbag. All he has is a pistol. I think there might be more oh, no, UJK is going to come through. He's got Sunny. He's inside this blue door building. Here we go. Yeah, what is uh, UJK going to do? Is he going to peek Sunny here? Sunny peeks UJK. UJK got hit. Fuck. That's not I'm the guy talking about. That's somebody here we go. Oh, Sunny gets peeked. And now it's up to Scroob. With Silas. Silas stupid. is now out of the uh, turret. Aethel guns down Scrooby, even though he knew he did something stupid. And now it's up to Silas. Can Silas one-man this with AKS-74U? The answer is maybe. Even Crispy's now maneuvering inside. He's got himself a little bit more pushed up. Oh. Does Silas want to just wait for Sunny to peek this again? Mm. Well, Crispy definitely heard Sunny just jump there. And Sunny cuts off Silas's kneecaps. And I believe that's it. That is GG. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight.